snowflake. It looks quite hard to deliver this one. Let's see if we can find the shape. Is that it? Oh, no, that's a star. That's... Oh, no, there it is. Oh, time is up. I delivered two parcels. Thank you very much for your help. Here's a little present for you. Smartinis. <laughs> I'm Jay, and I'm going to show you ways to make pictures. Now, what shall I use today? I know, I'm going to use some chalks. These come in some fantastic colours. Just look at that red. And it's really good to draw with them on black paper. Because it looks really good. Look at that spiral. And I've got another trick here. If you hold two together, you can do it in half the time. Look at that. Now I'm going to make this into a firework. I think that looks just like a Catherine wheel. Well, if that's a firework, then we've got to have some rockets. So I'm going to hold two together again and let one off. <whistles> what a big explosion. It's lighting up the sky. Fantastic. I think it's time for another one. OK. Let's use these two and set a rocket off over here. <whistles> Big, huge amount of colour in the sky. I think we have to colour in some more, in fact. Look, let's have some greens in there. Wow. How colourful. Now, there's one last trick you need to do, and that's with your finger. Smudge it, and it looks even better. Just look at that. Catherine will go round really fast. Wow. Let's try it again with the rocket. <whistles> Can you see the way it makes it all blend in with the background and look very real? That really is lighting up the sky. And now this next rocket. And all the colours are mixing together. Isn't that bright and colourful? That just looks like bonfire night. What do you think? Why don't you try using some chalks and see what kind of pictures you can make? Today's Smartini's Gallery. Can you guess what the pictures are all about? Did you get it? That's right, all our pictures were about the weather, and here's how we made them. Let me show you how to make a lovely fluffy cloud. And all you need to do is scribble lots of white chalk onto the paper, like that. Lots and lots and lots of white chalk. 
It doesn't look much like a cloud like that, does it? No. But to make it look like a cloud, Absolutely. I've got some cotton, cotton wool. And we're just going to smudge it. Look what it's doing. Now, what is it? A, a lovely fluffy cloud. And that's a cloud for a lovely summer's day, isn't it? Right, are you ready to do your own weather pictures? Yes! yes. Oh, we better get busy. We have to try have different colours. That's going to be a really hot sunshine, isn't it? Yes. It's going to be all yellow the rainbow. That's lovely. It's a snowy day. It's a snowy day. I've been looking at this photograph. It's of a beach on a lovely sunny day. Can you see that bird flying in the sky there? It's a long, long way away and that's why it's so small. And they're very easy to draw when they look that small. I'll show you. All you have to do is a little line down and then a little line up. It's like a curved V shape. A line down and a line up. And they're the wings of a flying bird. Down and up. See if you can put some birds in your weather pictures. I'm doing some birds. It's a beach, and so it must be a lovely day at the beach, mustn't it? Here are our pictures. This is Reese's rainbow. Rafiq also had a sunny day. It rained for Megan, but the sun came out again for Maeve and Chad. Amina had a snowy day. What time is it now? Tidy up time. Off you go then. We've all been very busy and it's been great fun. Why don't you have a go? See what sorts of weather pictures you can do. Kirsten here and this is Pattern Palace. Here are my patterns. I like patterns. I like looking at them and I like making them. These patterns have snowflakes on them. Look at this pretty ribbon. The silver snowflake really stands out and it twinkles in the light. And these white snowflakes stand out because they've been drawn onto black paper. Look at that big snowflake pattern there and that little snowflake there. And this looks like a snowflake, doesn't it? It's a doily. It's used for decorating plates. It's got lots of little holes cut out and they make the pattern. And it also makes a perfect snowflake. Let me show you. If I put this doily onto a piece of black paper, then I've got some white paint. I'm going to dip my brush in there and then paint over my doily might have to hold it at the side so that it doesn't move. There we go. Paint to the cl as close to the edges as you can. Now for the exciting bit. I'm going to peel back the doily and look what happens. A snowflake is underneath. That looks brilliant, doesn't it? I'm going to leave that to dry now and show you another way you could make a snowflake. I've got another doily and this time my piece of black paper is in a tray. You'll see why. I'm going to use talcum powder this time. Watch this. I'm going to sprinkle the talcum powder. This looks a little bit like snow falling. 
sprinkle it all over the black paper and the doily. There we go. Now, you've got to be quite careful this time when you peel the doily off because underneath is another perfect snowflake. Now this one won't last very long but I think it looks really pretty. That is ideal for my pattern palace. <laughs> Oh, cute snowman. Let's make our own. What with? Well, how about glue and cotton wool? Right. Let's start with the snowman's tummy. Whoa, look at that. Big fat tummy. And his head. There. Lovely. How about some snowflakes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a bit for the ground. Right, now let's put some snow down. Some lovely cotton wool. There. Perfect. Oh, big picture! Oh, wow. Right. picture. Right. Ah, now it's time for the snowflakes. How many have we got? Can you remember? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. Very good. Don't forget the snowman, snowman's fat tummy. Cotton wool balls. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and his face. There. Oh, lovely. Whoa, big picture. Right. Oh. Picture. Oops, uh, right. The snowman's face. Let's have a look. Eyes. One. Two. Nose. How about a bit of orange paper for a carrot? Mmm. That looks nice. Smiley mouth. Buttons. Of course, you need one, two, three, and. Twigs for his arms. One, two. There. Finished. Oh, no, I haven't. Oh. Finished. Small picture. Sure.